All right, guys, this weekend, I decided to give myself a self challenge by coding a Java GUI um, bank application project over the weekend. So basically what happened was while I was at work during break, I decided to code a um, just getting user input using the um, scanner class in Java. I decided to code a user interactive software that controls your banking through transferring, withdrawing, um, withdrawal fees, things like that, just things that you would normally have in a bank application system. And I decided to educate myself a bit more on the Java um, um, FX library with the um, the JFrame class, um, the JPanel class, and the methods evolving that. I know that this channel is called Games, you know, Ryan Cook's Games. And obviously I do that, but um, right now I'm kind of terrible at graphics, so I've decided to work on something else to challenge myself for this summer before I take my Intro to Computer Science 2 course and um, data structures. So I have some images here that I'll be using in this Java GUI application system. So first let's create a project. Thank you, <laughs> just for simplicity. That's all the text out of my way. And so, first, um, let's get a J frame up. Oh, I can actually get a window. a new banking class. So I want to have a constructor. Alrighty, now that I have my constructor. Hmm. Substantiate the JFrame class. Size will equal to false. Um, um, community banking hub of America. That sounds like. visibility to try. I actually want to be able to see my J-frame. Okay, it's a decent size. You think it's America. Hmm. This is all these images. I'm going to create a new class for images and gather all the images that I have. Let's paste them here. Classes. Text field. Also do this action listener so my buttons work. So that it's an import action event class. Uh, 
event uh, action event. Let's implement that real quick. Wonder here should be fine. Let's Submit or enter. Let's do 100 by 100 for now just to see what it looks like and now let's add that to the J frame. going to be a lot of resizing in this. Let me change its exposition maybe to 300. Three and then let me set this to around 400. Yep, yep. That seems good. Icon? Or was that in the swing class? Or I can just import the image class as well. But image. Say, um, icon new this here. Um, images. I think it's big bag is what I need. Well, this should now have be a different icon image. There you go. My small, I only think that's the right one. Oh no, it's the right one. Let me do it with draw it instead. That gate maybe. I was across a PNG file. So that, okay. so that gives me now. I like that much better. Now. 
guessing. This should be good. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's not it. I'm missing. Double X. I'm missing labels. That's what I was supposed to say. That's that's not I want that. Um probably need you a bit higher than that to be honest. That shit like this. That sounds fine. Eh. Maybe 250. Now let me set up some. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have some panels here that are going to contain two um, text fields or just text boxes that will be able to enter your account information, um, the name and the password. And that's what I'm going to set up here in between these two things. So let's see. Set the bounds for these. by 150 each. Change this later. Give me two text fields. Just one for the account, one for the password. them so I can see where they are as well. Is that set color or something? No. I don't want to 
have to look through all these. I guess I have no choice because I'm not trying to do any real cheating talking about it. Um, maybe it's a get color? figure it out. It, no, it's not it's not the repaint method, is it? Oh no, I could have swore there's like a set color method. This is all that there is, so it has to be. Set back. Yeah, that should work. I don't have to import the- Oh wait, I already had the color in classic. Nice. Just so I can see where it's supposed to be. It's only like... in a while. I actually really like this icon, I don't have to get too far. Size and is going to be done here. I should just count information. I kind of want to the side. I kind of want this to be like here. Hmm. Maybe banking more over here. But let me just get um two more labels. going to be as so, um, need to fill this X and Y but it's just just in case you know so I don't have to over resize like so I always do this Oh, 
Jones. Add it to the J panel. In J frame. Should be adding two. Gotta bring them down quite considerably on the Y. Ah, oh, yikes. So that'll make such a big difference. Bruh, I'm like barely off. One five. That's, that's fine. Let me just get him a bit closer on the X. Reach. And a lot of resizing. It's not necessarily the same because I didn't really set these out beforehand. I didn't really figure these out. So I'm really just trying to do this like as raw as possible, as close to the first time as possible. I wonder if it looked better if I just push these more over here. Let's push everything to like a hundred. So, my labels? Where is my text foods? This one a bit back. This works. So let's go on the action floor for before we get this button. So I'll work on some more key input once I get into the actual application, but for now I just need this button. Oh. 
I make a lot of these public so I can use them outside of this method, outside of this construction. Um, okay. Okay, so let's try this out. Password, which drive is great one, two, three. And I actually need to add action listener. Actually, need to pass through the action listener for the button. So it's in Java. It's fun. Java is great. One, two, three. There we go. It's functioning button. That's good. <laughs> Um, let's try and liven this up a little bit. Be very clear with the name, and I just need this to be functional. This image cannot be converted to icons wrong with the button. Does that actually work? I'm used to using the graphics class in order to do this, so I didn't want this to look so basic. I have to just set icon. That's Really 
give it a, some dimensions in a second. I'm just gonna see what it would give me if at all. Actually, really nice if it you know, wouldn't be disturbing everything around it. So instead of withdrawal, let's see what other images do I have? Use download. change the color of everything. Hmm. I have bank account. It's awesome. Another one to the top. had to put anything in negative in a while. Well, I actually had to put this in the negative direction. Okay, functionality now. Um, size. Actually typing this out, I usually don't like typing this out.
able to like forgot it already. So, welcome to the community bank in Hello Pink. Community Banking of of America. We're gonna dispose of J frame. We don't need it anymore. all needed for my key bindings. <clears throat> Let's run this for now. Out name. Sure. And it should be Java is great once. Frame, it's good. Now this is where I'm gonna start using my graphics class. method to be able to call any changes that I have when a user clicks on a button or anything you know I think you know, I'm gonna do it you know every, every I think I'm gonna want it to update every second you know 60 times per second so I'm gonna have FPS 60 set that for now Graphics class. I'm gonna do all my graphics here with the uh, images and text and things like that. Class. Listen, I need something a bit more specific. I need to be able to handle keys. Let's see if I remember the method. Method, so let's see. Um, the event class, like action event class. Yeah. Thank you. 
はい There we go. Wait a minute. When I press a key, when I release a key, I'm going to create some boolings on up press and down press. <clears throat> this is going to be connected to the W key, and this is going to be connected to the S key. I'll be passing in this class through because I'm going to be using um, a state machine basically to be able to get to certain things. So I'm going to go into my one of my games I made, and for this, I'm going to steal the loop I made. I think I need this. Add this in there. I don't need update line. Okay. So yeah, this is just the... Uh... Oh, I did need it. Okay. Yeah, this is just to be able to call my method. Um, just while my game thread is running, just using a while loop. I'll be able to handle my graphics in here. Set no buffer and equal to true. just means that will I be able to have the key input access in order to use my key listener class key H handles the key bindings and then double buffering is just concept and I guess you can just say game development where um, basically you have like an image that is going along the screen and then as soon as that image is not necessary, another one is coming along the screen, and you kind of switch between those two. It's a very simplified, very beginner version of how I actually comprehend and understand this. Let me Let's do some drawing. some images here. Just oh, it's that swing uh, icon. Create four images for each of them. So I'm gonna get out of my way. Just bank account. Yeah, I can see. Oh, 
the image. I'll just call them all what they are just so I can have an easy understanding of what they are. Transaction. Spelling so bad. I'm missing I that will be important now so it doesn't become a problem later to remember that. Image with draw. So image icon. Account, account, okay. Not access. Access the account name now. <clears throat> so let me import the rectangle class. I'm actually going to use that for outlining. Graphics 2D class in order to images basically. All this image. working. Why is this still here? I shouldn't be able to try to dispose of that. Minutes for 
power. Is there a reason why that's happening? Of it. Should be disposed. Let me allow that to be the first thing that happens. See how that changes things. Hmm. There's a lot of explanation for us now. I just gotta think of it. That's game panel. I have to sleep on that for a second. Start working on this. I don't know how I want it to look. This thing I want. Color. Not import the color class. Set font. Maybe I'm just stupid. It's gonna be annoying to have to keep logging in. I'm just gonna probably. Just for outlining, I guess I can do this. Word is very short for a second. The 
should just change this to J for now to make my life much easier. That's much better. Sizing is not right now, is it? size and I'm just doing this on the fly. That works, that works. Bring the count details down. being done here.
size that really matters. I mean, kind of. Maybe. size in here. Okay, that's much better. Let me go to my reference. Let's look like for a second. the string right account name whatever account name I put here I am codes names the string is null later. have it set to use automatically user gives me 
fix field. Right here. Nah, I knew I couldn't. This does. Okay, it's not text is null here. Oh, well, it works now. It's not actually giving me a need. That's nice. That's a bummer. if this works. It's 
ドーナツ。Best here to figure out how to get the account name saved.
Got a way to access this text. Once I click on this button, whatever I have saved here, here, and brainstorming will eat sleep. Now, this should be fun. of these black and white squares. Crash. See, this is the thing, it keeps giving me a null down.
Let me work now. I'm going to solve a lot of problems here. There we go. That's the account balance. Um. I did draw image and not draw string, that's it. Terribly more ghetto version of this. This looks insanely ghetto. Hour and 26 minutes. Making good progress here. I need to work on. Why is this no longer being disposed? No, why is that, why is this window not closing? Maybe I need to do JFrame dot. Frame that remove all. Is it, is, it, is it because it's being called so many times a second that this isn't being called somehow? Think about this logic here. Click on the button and the text equals what the password is supposed to do. It's supposed to the Yeah. <laughs> 
to see if maybe it's the position of one it's specifically called is the problem. game panel if I take out the dispose altogether though. How do I get this account name?
drums. again strangers no I know that
account ID. This text thing is empty. I received it. Connected to when I click the button, it'll save whatever text is inside of it. not showing anything right now this is definitely progress how long has it been it's been out 41 minutes um <coughs> let's move on for now I don't want Mac to be important later I don't know Have the ability to draw money. So that gives us the problem here is. To make everything in a nice 100 by 100 file sizes. able to switch through the options here. This is going to be with draw, so I'm going to create a screen for that. Next. 
<clears throat> ability to what's the official name for it? Ah, this is deposit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm forgetting basic banking terms and. has been working out well for me, not this time. This, this needs to be way lower. There we go. Next, we're gonna do transfer. Last one is going to be transactions. Hmm. First, I'm going to polish up this app, you know? This is just getting the bare minimum. Good. 
tapestry. Grabbed on image and not the screen. There we go. <laughs> let's work on the ability to. So let's create the states that we have. In menu stage. to access um, some um, game panel integers in order to switch between the states and to create a constructor pass game panel through it in order to be able to use it.
want to do this. So while I'm in the menu state, Here it is. It's very tiny. It's the size. Uh, 
Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, 